A reason to wait or a pending reason allows you to put a ticket on hold, send automatic reminders, and even solve a ticket if you don't receive a response from your requester. And in GLPI, you can create these pending reasons to automatically make GLPI work for your team. First of all, navigating in setup dropdowns, we are filtering it for pending reasons. In pending reasons, we are creating a new pending reason. And here we have several fields to insert our information. This is important to know. For this video, we are using a follow-up template and a solution template that we've created before. If you haven't watched our follow-up template video, you can see on our show notes. For this, I'm just adding a description so our technicians can know which kind of pending reasons we are using here. And also, this is a way of knowing on KPIs what are the pending reasons for each pending ticket. Waiting, customers, response. For comments, we can add information that are useful for our team. So every time we need extra information from our requester, use this pending reason. You can also add more information like free follow-ups plus solve, let's say, because it makes easier for your team to understand what will happen when they use this pending reason. Automatic follow-up frequency, it says everything. So every day, every two days, every three days, the follow-up that we insert on follow-up template will be sent to your requesters. So in this case, I'm using every day. For the follow-up template, I'm using the waiting customer response. Artur, what is the waiting customer response? Let's open a new tab here and see. The waiting customer response says that for every user first name on the requesters field, we are going to add hope you're doing well and so on. The ticket ID, the ticket name, and then again, best user first name from the people that are assigned to this ticket. Again, we are using a follow-up template that also use available variables. So now let's come back to the pending reason that we are creating and add new information. Follow-ups before automatic resolution. So we are adding three follow-ups and then after the three follow-ups, the solution template will be no response solution. Same thing, opening a new tab here. So we can see which one you are using. So no response solution. No response solution says that I hope this message finds you well and so on. All of this information will be sent to your requester. Again, coming back here, I can add it here. And on our tickets list, we are choosing an email is not working, for example, to add a follow up asking for more information because it's almost empty of information. We need more to understand and troubleshoot it. So let's click answer. Choose a template that we have already created to email troubleshooting info. It will populate the follow up with info that comes from our template, as you can see here. And then we are hitting the set the status to pending. Here we can choose a pending reason, which is the one that we've created before waiting customer response, it will automatically add the automatic follow-up to every day and automatic resolution after three follow-ups. Let's say I want it to be after one follow-up or if I want to disable it, I can do it right now or on the template. I'll add it. So now every day it will be added a new follow-up for this ticket. And here we can see the ticket 12 days, actually 13 days after the follow-up that we've added to this ticket. Here we have the high GLPI, which is the first name of the requester that was inserted here, the ticket ID and ticket title. It would change if it's a different ticket and a different requester. Since nobody has answered this after one day of these automatic follow-up, it was solved as no answer. And here again, we are using a 
solution template that we've implemented before. If you haven't seen our videos about follow-up templates and solution templates, they are going to be on our show notes. And don't forget, it's important to mention that once you add a pending reason, the ticket will stay in pending status until someone answers this ticket. And when I say someone, it's the requester. If the requester answers anything in this ticket, the status is going to be to processing assigned. If you liked this content, please consider subscribing and liking this video. And if you haven't seen, we have a new help sender, which is on help.glpiproject.org or on the links on our show notes.